Jose Mourinho and Paul Pogba. We've talked about them plenty this season, but you can't ignore the story that is continuing between the pair. After Manchester United's 2 all draw against Southampton, reports came out suggesting that Mourinho had called Paul Pogba a virus in front of his Manchester United teammates. And he's since been dropped from Manchester United's two following games against Arsenal and Fulham. It's another chapter in what has been, overall, a pretty ugly affair between both Pogba and Mourinho. And this is the latest chapter in that. Now, whether or not Pogba was indeed called a virus by Mourinho, it's clear it was, still is clear, that Mourinho is not happy with Paul Pogba. He was dropped from the team against Arsenal. He stayed on the bench against Fulham. He came off the bench against Arsenal. He didn't even feature against Fulham. That's the first time since May 2017 that Pogba has remained an unused substitute. And then you saw Mourinho bring on Fred and Scott McTominay against Fulham. Their messages from Mourinho. He could have brought Pogba on, but he didn't. He chose to leave him on the bench there. And Pogba now has only started one of United's last four games. Now, I want to know from you in the comments below, is Mourinho right to be dropping Pogba? Should Mourinho drop Pogba for the games against Arsenal and Fulham? I want to know what you think, so let me know in the comments below. Obviously, the story right now is the fact that Pogba has been dropped by Mourinho. Was Mourinho right to do that? For me, I think Mourinho was 100% right to drop Paul Pogba. If you look at Paul Pogba's last few games, specifically the Southampton game, Pogba has been poor for Manchester United. And I think any manager in the world should be choosing his starting eleven based on form and form only. It doesn't matter how small or big the player is, how much that player costs, whether it's a 100 or a 10 million pound player. If the player's not playing well, the player shouldn't be in the starting eleven if there is a good alternative to play in his stead. And that, for me, is exactly why Mourinho was right to drop Pogba against Arsenal and Fulham. But what a lot of United fans will say in the comments here is the fact that look at Nemanja Matic. He's played shit on so many occasions this season, yet he's remained in the starting eleven. And I agree with that. One rule should apply to all players. And that's the reason Mourinho will get criticism here for dropping Pogba, but never dropping Matic. It took it long enough to drop Romelu Lukaku. And look what happened then. Our football improved. But you can't really argue with the performances that we've seen from United in the last two games against Arsenal and Fulham. It was a wonderful attitude from the whole team against Arsenal. You know, the quality wasn't completely there against Arsenal, but the fact that every single player put in 100%, some more, they really put everything on the pitch. United fans will forgive Mourinho's side for drawing some games, for losing some games. It's part of football. But that only can happen when the attitude of the team is right. If United look complacent, slow, lackadaisical, and then we get a draw or a defeat, it's frustrating for a fan because it looks like the players could have done more. And I don't think we could really have played with a better attitude than we have against Fulham and Arsenal. And both of those have happened without Paul Pogba being on the pitch. And we combined that attitude with real quality against Fulham in that first half, 3-0 up at half-time. That is what United fans want to be seeing every single week. And that is what this team is capable of. Yes, it was against Fulham. Yes, they were absolutely pony. And I wish we could play Fulham every single week. But we didn't do that against Crystal Palace or Southampton, which is what I covered in my match reaction. We did it against Fulham. And that came down to a massively improved attitude. And now the question to ask here is whether you think this improved attitude from United against Fulham and Arsenal has come in spite of Paul Pogba being left out of the team and staying on the bench or because of it. Do you think Man United's improved attitude has come because Paul Pogba is not in the team? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But one thing I don't think any of us can argue with is the fact that there is a man who has been central to all of that change in the attitude. And that is Ander Herrera. Ander Herrera is the mad dog that Mourinho has been asking his midfielders to be. You know, you've got the laboured guard dog in the Manu Matic, who doesn't really do much, looks a bit intimidating, but you can probably just walk around him. And then you've got Ander Herrera, who's just permanently moving as a central midfielder. He's just, for me, he's my favourite United player, and you've seen why in the last two games. Take his performance against Fulham, for example. Defensively, very, very sound. No player completed more tackles against Fulham than Ander Herrera. No player completed more interceptions against Fulham than Ander Herrera. 
Only Diogo Dalot completed more clearances than Ander Herrera. No player completed more headed clearances than Ander Herrera. Defensively, he was a key part. Obviously, Fulham weren't that dangerous, but whenever they were there, Ander Herrera was there to defend. But the thing that Herrera did, it wasn't just defensively. He was dangerous in attack as well. With 20 out of 24 passes completed in the final third, he had the most passes in the final third, alongside Juan Mata. And he also completed 76 out of 85 overall passes. Only Nemanja Matic had more. So it was an overall performance from Herrera, both defensively helping his team out, but linking up that midfield to attack. The sort of performance, I suppose, that Mourinho wants to get out of Paul Pogba, but that sort of performance around the Herrera, that's why I love him. And that contrast between Herrera and Pogba has been very stark. And especially so when you compare that to, say, Paul Pogba's recent performance against Southampton. In that game, Paul Pogba wasn't in the top five passes. He was third in the attacking passes with 13 out of 15 and top in the take-ons with five out of seven, but he created zero chances in that game. He was third in ball recoveries with eight times that he recovered the ball, but he lost the ball more than eight times out of possession. Not in the top five tackles, not in the top five interceptions, or the top five clearances. And unfortunately for Pogba, that is why he has been dropped, because his performances haven't been good enough. Now, if Ander Herrera was, say, shit against Arsenal or Fulham or both, Pogba would already have been back in that team. But he hasn't because Ander Herrera is playing very well and warrants his place in that starting eleven. That's why Herrera should be there. And unfortunately for him, it looks like he's keeping Paul Pogba out of it now. But would you bring Paul Pogba back into the team to face Liverpool at Anfield? The thing is, we all know what Paul Pogba is capable of. When he's on form, he's unplayable. And the game that I think most United fans will look towards is that Newcastle game at Old Trafford. Man United 2-0 down. Who inspires the team to turn that around? It was Paul Pogba. He was magnificent that day. Top in shots with 6-3 on target. Most passes with 78. Created two chances. Top passes in the attacking third with 25 out of 30. Top in take-ons with 3 out of 4. Recovered the ball 10 times. Only Matic and Shelby had more than that with 11. Top clearances with 4 out of 4. Top headed clearances with 3 out of 3. And he won 3 out of 3 of his defensive aerial duels. Paul Pogba in that game was the architect, both in defence and attack. The same sort of performance that we've seen from Ander Herrera against Fulham, in terms of the numbers anyway. Not only was Pogba contributing to our defensive shape against Newcastle, he was the guy creating everything going forward as well. And that's the sort of performance that Jose Mourinho wants from Pogba every week. The issue is he doesn't get it. That Pogba isn't getting dropped for any game. That Pogba is the first name on any team sheet. And that Pogba, hopefully, will see against Valencia after Jose Mourinho has confirmed that Paul Pogba will start in that game. Praised him as a fantastic player, said he has everything needed to be a fantastic player. But what does Pogba have to do to really get back into this Manchester United team and really get into Mourinho's good books? Mourinho's made it very clear to him. He's basically said it. Mourinho said that Pogba has to play with the same mentality as the team is playing. And you can't really argue with that because I think Mourinho is 100% right. Pogba does have to improve his attitude. His greatest asset is his talent. He's a wonderful, wonderful footballer. And that comes with confidence that some see as arrogance, but that confidence is just as important as his talent. The problem is, I feel, that it almost seems like Pogba is overconfident too often. That's when he gets caught in possession in midfield. We've seen that so many times this season where Pogba loses the ball in midfield unnecessarily. Just slowly moving, taking one too many touches instead of just playing a simple ball to a teammate in space. Pogba's very, very guilty of that. One of the worst things about his game. He needs to balance that out. And when you compare that with the sort of performance we're seeing from Ander Herrera, very simple in his passing and his football, but a real dogged determination to always be there in midfield, that is why Pogba's been dropped, because Herrera is putting in performances like that. But we will see Pogba against Valencia. Now, obviously, it's a Champions League dead rubber in the fact that we're already through, but we can top the group if Juventus don't get the right result against Young Boys. So maybe Pogba will use this as his platform to show Mourinho why he's got to be in that starting eleven 
to face Liverpool at Anfield. The biggest game of the season for Manchester United fans. Always is every single year. Last couple of years, United have been poor there. I want to go there and stop this Liverpool team in... Just stop, just stop them. Right now, top of the league, tough place to go. They're in great form. United in great form after that Fulham game. But let me know what you think about this Pogba situation. Was Jose Mourinho right to drop Pogba from the team in the first place? And would you bring Pogba back into the team for Man United against Liverpool on Sunday? Or would you keep Ander Herrera there alongside Nemanja Matic, which is what it has been for the last couple of games? Let me know what you think in the comments below.